Are there any questions? <laughs> Honestly, yes. How do I prepare myself was a question in case you back there didn't hear it. Um, and do I have a plan for this or is it just um, improvisation? Is that the question? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes and no. Um, I, particularly for a gig like today, I don't prepare a solo or something. I have um, a couple of guidelines I, I want to follow when I play, well, not just solo, but in generally play. Um, I think whenever you make a statement on your instrument, it's, uh, you have to use a couple of things that, or you have to, the easiest way is to see it as communication. So this thing was built as a communication instrument, right? For example, there will be rain or <laughs> buffalo dead or something like that. <laughs> Uh, and, and I think it's still um, used that way. So I, for me, it is still uh, a communication device. And if you say, oh, that's esoteric, and oh, that's, uh, I say, shut up. <laughs> and the reason is, I just proved to you that it is a communication device because I played parts in my solo where some of you were like, <laughs> where it was intense, maybe, or some of you at some places were like, <laughs> laughed, you know? And, and it wasn't by accident. I was like, oh, they're laughing. <laughs> but it was like, I, I played something and, and did something f funny, communicated something funny, and you understood it, although I don't speak your language. And um, I didn't get up and made a bass player joke <laughs> on the mic. <laughs> Although I would have loved to. I could say. <laughs> no, but I did it through the instrument, right? And it was totally clear to everyone. And this is the proof, right? You can communicate feelings with this instrument. And if you are aware of that, all the rules of communication apply. So for example, um, and these are my structuring tools that I use. Um, so if you know that, if you know someone who always screams all the time, like, ah, ah, you know, whatever happens, he's like, oh my God, you know, it's like, um, the taxi will be five minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, if, if you know someone like that, and he does that all the time, when he freaks out, you don't, it doesn't mean that much anymore, right? Because he, he's a choleric, he always freaks out. But if you know someone, who's very calm, who's always in control, but at some point he usually is like, hey, wait a second, and you're like, oh my god, you know, he never does that. And when he does that, it means something. So, we emotionally respond to contrast. That is what it is. And contrast only works if you have at least these two places that you go to, and also if you use it um, precisely. If I would have played a lot of notes all the time and loud all the time, um, it, it means less than if I do something um, very, very quiet and then do a couple of loud strokes. It, it, it has a certain effect. So contrast is one thing that's super to use. Another thing that we often forget about and that's super important uh, for composition like, this is old school stuff, right? Bach and Mozart used to do that stuff. And we still respond to that. Repetition. Repetition is great. We as drummers have to be masters of repetition. If you have a solo, um, I often hear that uh, at, at, at drum clinics where someone plays a solo like this. It's, 
it's new ideas constantly and so constantly that you don't really can connect to it. It's like someone would tell you, um, I like the ocean, I like to swim, but I'm afraid of water, I never go near water, I, I like the mountains a lot, I love cars. Football is my favorite thing in the world. It's like eating. I don't want sports. I, I want to stay at home, watch videos. That's my... And you're all like... If, if someone would talk like that, you'd say like, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So, we find that weird as human beings if someone changes his statement all the time and, and we don't relate to that person, right? So why do we do it sometimes with the instrument? It's nice to establish an idea and to put meat on the bone and do variations. For example, um, this. Some of you might not call that even an idea. <laughs> it's only two strokes, right? But if you use repetition, You created a phrase, and you created form, and you created time through repetition. So improvisation is not a constant flow of ideas. That's very important. Many people say, oh, I don't have enough ideas, you know, I run out of ideas. With that idea, I can play for half an hour without any problem. If I use repetition, and I use variation. So, for example, Same phrase, right? More often repeated, right? Dum, 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 dum. And here only. So I can create more tension if I make the phrase shorter. So at the end of a phrase, I could. Right? Super simple. <laughs> See? And in the beginning you thought it's not even an idea. But if you can let those, all those rules that are in music, you can let them work for you. Right? If you use repetition, if you use variation. One thing would be tonal variation. And so on. So, yeah, everyone can do that, right? So if you think of a drum solo now, not as using all your shit. <laughs> now it's my chance to fill my wheelbarrow of, of practice shit and just... <laughs> let's put it in, let's put it in some space there. But to think of um, composing on the spot. That's what improvisation really is. I think imp improvising, like to give it the respect that it deserves, it's really to improvise on the spot, to use form, to use contrast, to use dynamics, to use repetition. And um, yeah, so I don't need to prepare that much stuff. I can throw it into my minza of form and blah, blah, blah. and if I throw an idea up here, it does and some music comes out. <laughs> and if you play, and mistakes are great. If you repeat them, they become a composition. 
right? So if you do oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> right? If you repeat something, if you repeat something, you give it more value. If you repeat something, you give it more value. If you repeat something, you give it more value. You know that? Okay. <laughs> That's simple. So, yeah. But with that being said, I like a couple of ideas that I like to go to, um, that are just part of my repertoire that I love to go there. It would be uh, not honest if I would say, like, I never played any of that stuff before. <laughs> you know? It's like, that's, that's not how it goes. And it's not how you uh, find things interesting. I never heard about someone saying, you know, Shakespeare, this is, I, I mean, actually with Shakespeare it sometimes works, but if, if, you read, if you read a book and someone asks you, how did you like the book? You say, ah, it's, it's boring. <laughs> Why is it boring? Well, I mean, did you read the same book? And you're like, yeah, I liked it. Well, sorry, but he didn't use any new words in there. I knew every letter that he used. Sorry, it's, everything is stolen. Yes. That's not how we work, right? It's like how is where music happens, not the what. We, we focus so much on the what we play. Ah, this is the right groove for the song. Well, if the how you play it is weird, it's not going to sound good. That's why we are amazed why some people sound good with doom, but, doom, but, and some not. What they play is the same thing. How he plays it, why he plays it. These are the three levels of musicianship, right? What you play, it's not that impor important as we always think. How you play it, very important. And why you play it. Why did you play that fill there? What is the purpose? Why did you say something to someone? That is important. How did you say what you say? Women are great at this. Men are not, it's like, but I, it's like, when, when you pick up your phone, it's like, hi. You said, what's wrong? I didn't say anything, right? But how you said it communicates a lot. It's the same with drumming. And if you say, I love you, it, it is something very powerful and nice. You can't go wrong with that, right? But if you say, yeah, I love you, <laughs> it's the same, what you say is the same thing, but how you say it makes it an insult, almost. And it's the same with that. But I play the right cymbal pattern. It must be jazz. <laughs> ding, ting, ta ding, ting, ta ding. <laughs> if, it's, if it's the wrong, if it's played the wrong way, it's an insult, right? Anyway, sorry for the long answer, but, um, but I like the subject.